Thank you for joining us to an interview with Paul Young, one of the co-founders of Skybound Software. Paul, it's great to have you. Great to be here. Okay. How did Skybound Software start? Skybound Software started actually when my brother and I were in high school, and we um, we've been doing sort of selling software online and whatnot for a long, long time. We've been in high school, um, so actually when we left high school, we just uh, decided, you know, why don't we just sort of continue this because we were making money, seeing progress, you know, in high school. Um, so we just continued on the business and uh, here we are today. Okay. And now you're, since one year, um, you're located in the Accelerator Center. Yes, we are located in the Accelerator Center in Waterloo. We've been here for about a year. Uh, we decided to move to Waterloo to take advantage of the amazing uh, technology industry here. Um, I don't think that people in Waterloo really appreciate what they have here. Um, I mean, I come from the you know, Niagara region, and in the Niagara region, you pretty much are limited to being a farmer or you know, doing something related to a trade or whatnot. Um, so if you want to run a technology company, you pretty much don't have very many options there. Um, so, I mean, Waterloo is absolutely amazing for that. The, the community here is just so tightly knit, and it's, it's really easy to to, have to penetrate the community. Um, when, I, when I first came here, I had met more people in the first couple of weeks being in here than, uh, than I had met in my entire life being in Niagara. So, I mean, the, the community is just so tight and it's just so easy to, to get in and, and to meet people. Um, it's, it's been uh, really, really beneficial for our company. So, what's Skybound Software about? We are about designing abstraction layers on top of complicated technologies to allow people to be more creative. So right now we are sort of taking our, 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 our software designs and applying it towards web design, but in the future it could be for various other things. And how did the idea come about for Skybound Software? Years and years of frustration with building websites. I did, uh, I did I built websites for a lot of people actually and for, for myself. Um, just contract work and whatnot, and I'm the kind of person that gets annoyed with technology very easily. I love technology, but I get annoyed with it very easily. Um, so, one one of our previous ventures, um, previous venture was actually a, a chat system that we had developed for eBay users, so that eBay users could chat with the people that, uh, that were viewing their auction pages. Uh, eBay didn't like that very much, so they shut us down. Go figure, a couple years later, they go and buy Skype, but. Uh, they shut us down. So when that venture failed, we were kind of, you know, didn't really have any other place to go. So um, that was when I decided that, you know, I can't stand the way that the websites are built. So we're going to just fix that problem. So it was, it was really started out of frustration, which in my opinion is probably one of the best ways to start a company. If you're looking for, if you have a solution already and you're looking for the problem, usually I found that that doesn't really work. And that has worked. Um, uh, in a couple of situations, but for the most part, um, the, the really, really great ventures I find are just an in, in, in inability to do a certain thing. So you see problems and then you find yeah, solutions. Yeah, and then you fix that specific problem mm -hmm. versus just let's, you know, building technology and then uh, just trying to figure out where it goes and that usually doesn't work. And what's your target uh, market? Right now, our target market is pr a pretty technical audience. Um, web designers who are familiar with the technology, HTML and CSS, and JavaScript. Um, we're trying to move the product in a different direction to be a little bit more applicable to the everyman. What do you wish you had known when you first started Skybound Software? I thought that because of the international and borderless nature um, of the internet, that, and we were you know, obviously a tech company and whatnot, that it didn't really matter where you were or situated. So I never really had any push to leave that community until it was way too late. Um, so as a result, I never really developed um, an understanding of just the social factors of business. Just, just communication and just how business works on a social level. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing that I've learned. Um, so location, location, location. I don't know, location, location, location. At least one of those locations, okay. though. <laughs> We use social media as a tool mainly for marketing. Um, outside of that, not really a whole lot. Um, 
mainly just a tool for marketing. It's not really a core piece of our business. So being uh, physically located in a community that is very entrepreneurial is very important to you. Absolutely, especially for a startup. When, um, as far as mentorship goes, it's not so much the mentors and being or having being in communication with uh, the husbands, so to speak. You just need other voices, you know, regardless if they're, you know, Bill Gates or if they're the entrepreneur next door who, um, you know, who's, who's had a similar experience to you. Um, just, just having those entrepreneurs, that network of entrepreneurs around you, I think, is so important. It's completely irreplaceable. What's the sales strategy of Skydon Software? Right now, the company has been growing 100% through word of mouth. And that's a great way to build a company, but unfortunately, you can only go so far with that, usually. Um, so actually, right now, we're starting to explore a lot of advertising uh, opportunities. Um, we're finding that the advertising row is proving to be a little bit more complicated than, uh, than we had thought, just because of the technical nature of our product. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So advertising where? In which medium? Um, Google AdWords, more or less. Um, well, I shouldn't say Google AdWords. It's actually the image component because um, being a visual product, it needs to be sold through um, a visual medium. So the Google AdWords um, vehicle doesn't really apply to our situation. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so mainly just internet advertising. We have a couple different channels that we're using. Do you go to trade shows and have you found them uh, helpful? I've, we've been to trade shows. Um, I haven't actually exhibited a trade show. Going to the trade shows, I have not really extracted any value um, from them. I find that it's easier to just browse the internet and kind of see what people do. Um, I, I think the idea of it is to sort of form relationships um, with people, but from at least from the trade shows that I've been to, it's more or less just been like walking around a strip mall and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know, Vendors trying to sell you their, their wares. Cool. Now, what are the challenges you had to overcome? Challenges I had to overcome. Coming up with a sales strategy is probably the biggest, biggest one. Um, again, we sell a really technical product, and it's very, very complicated. From it, it's complicated to explain, but we tried to sort of package the interface in a way that wasn't complicated. And to sort of explain to people the philosophy of the company and, and, and why it's designed, the, why the product is designed the way that it is, it's designed very differently from the other products out there. Um, and at first glance, um, somebody using the product would think, well, "Why did you design it like this? Why did you design it like that?" And it's really, really difficult. We found to sort of communicate the philosophies of the product to people in you know the three and a half seconds that you have to convince people to believe in your way. So what are your hopes and future plans for Skybound Software? We want to keep moving in the direction that we're currently moving in and that is trying to make um, complicated technologies obviously easier for people to grasp so that you are able to build website, software, whatever um, with only an imagination. And the, the slogan of the company is focus on imagination and sort of the, the motivation behind that slogan is that a person should never really be dealing with technicalities because humans just aren't good at that. Um, humans are good at doing things that are creative. Um, and I, I use the word creative, not artistic. A lot of people sort of confuse those two terms. Um, I think programmers and engineers are very, very creative people. They're not artistic a lot of times, but they're very, very creative. Um, so. So the, so the direction of the company is that we want to empower people to be able to penetrate web design or software development or whatever, whatever it is, um, having only their creative abilities. So that the technicalities, their technical barriers, so to speak, to entering you know, whatever it is that they're trying to do are not a factor. The only factor is, you know, they're, so they're only limited by their imagination. You run your own company. Do you ever see yourself being employed working for another company? Not in a million years. Um, I've known ever since, as far back as I can remember, that um, that I was going to run my own company. And it's, I never went to school anywhere um, because I'm just I'm way too entrepreneurial for that, and I'm always just kind of going off in my own direction. Um, so but you finished high school. I finished well, almost. <laughs> I wasn't running my own company and spending too much time uh, doing other things. I was caught up in a lot of other stuff. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I never, I never went to university or anything like that because I was just, I was so caught up in all these different things that I just never really, um, you know, had an attraction to that. And um, so yeah, so to answer your question, um, no, I, I, I'm totally unemployable. Nobody would ever want to employ me ever for anything. Um, I don't follow the instructions very well, uh, so uh, I, I'm pretty much, I, I need to run my own company. What so. are your favorite sites online? The one I'm at most is probably Wikipedia, stackoverflow.com, can't replace Stack Overflow. Um, yeah, I, I spend the most time at probably Wikipedia and Stack Overflow, so I'm a geek, so. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you're a geek, what, what about you makes you a geek? I do everything. Um, I started as a programmer. Um, I realized that I have more tendencies to be an art type person, um, so I kind of swayed over to that. But I mean, being an entrepreneur, you got to wear four and seven hats, right? I mean, you need to be able to do everything. If, if you're, if you're the kind of person who can only do one thing, chances are probably that you're not an entrepreneur. You're working at a, a company that can use just that one skill set, um, depending on on what that skill is. Um, for me, um, you know, I've been doing marketing for the last couple of years, um, writing, design, um, programming, kind of doing the whole nine yards. Now, do you keep a healthy lifestyle? I do. I do. That is one thing. Yeah, that is one thing that I uh, I try to do. Um, I, I run quite a, quite a bit. Before I was really full tilt with Skybound, um, I actually uh, I was a track athlete and I competed uh, almost professionally um, as a track athlete. So um, so that's sort of in my blood. So I really uh, I do spend quite a bit of time. And you keep that up? Yeah, I keep that up. <laughs> Can't let that go. <laughs> Mind changing book for me. Yes, um, I read Guy Kawasaki's Rules for Revolutionaries. Um, I, I read that when I was uh, actually still in high school. Um, that was sort of my first exposure to how businesses actually run. Um, before I read that book, um, a lot of the or the company that we were trying to build wasn't actually a company at all. It was more or less just a technology and a product. Um, but that sort of was an eye opener to me to. Um, just to sort of realize like how companies actually work from the inside. What did the book teach you? Um, more or less just how, how, how companies are formed and, and how, um, how products are created and, and how uh, you have to use your products and just the whole, the whole life cycle of, uh, of how a product is used, how it goes into the cans of the customer, how the company contacts the customer to find information. I, I was pretty green before I read the book, so Probably um, you know, anybody with any experience in business would just read a book and flip through and it would just all look like, you know, just run of the mill information. Um, but for me, I was pretty green when I was, I was reading that book. So the next book that I want to mention was Made to Stick by Chip and Dan Heath. Have you read that book? No, I haven't. That is an excellent book. I recommend that book to every single person. Uh, Our viewers should read it. Everybody should read that. <laughs> everybody should read it. I'll say that again. I'll look at the camera. Made to Stick by Chip and Dan Heath. Um, the book is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think everybody should read that, regardless if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a teacher, if you're anybody that speaks in public, um, anybody in news, anybody that needs to communicate information to anybody, which is probably about 80 percent of the population, um, should read that book. It, the, why the book is so important is that it, it talks about how to formulate messages so that it sticks in people's minds. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us more about Skybox Software. It was a pleasure.